Okay, there's another shot. My de- So my greater demon's in combat with those knights. So the first round of combat, my greater demon killed the unit champion. Second round of combat, my greater demon, he has to challenge with his BSB. His BSB survives the attacks from my greater demon. And I have to take that break check. I f- failed it by um, three or four. In any case, my greater demon was left with one wound remaining. Um... So the Shagath and the Chaos Lord have uh, finished off the the unit of demonettes there. They're gone. My Furies have taken a wound. The dogs have taken a wound. They're still not able to, to break that stalemate there. And I could really use... And I really, really wanted them to kill those Chaos Hounds at this point because then I could use my Furies to block the uh, Shagath. But it was, it was not to be. Um, once again... I attempted to cast Cacophonic. By this point, I've tried to um, try to cast Cacophonic twice. I'm getting confused as to whose turn it is right now. But in any case, the first turn one and turn two, I tried to cast Cacophonic. It didn't go off. So this is my turn. I put the... My unit of fiends go into the um, the sword and board chaos warriors. My demonettes down fighting the the demon prince have been doing really well. They've held them off. Um, they even occasionally get a wound through, but he just gets it back from Sulfi and every time that happens. I turn my chariot around to charge that greater demon, and now's my chance to do it. Not greater demon, sorry, my, to charge that demon prince. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to charge in. And then I went through the numbers in my head. Let's say I get six impact hits. Um, you know, three of them will wound and then they'll just bounce off his armor. And even if I do sneak a wound or two in, he's just going to kill me. I mean, I'm just handing him points. So, um, that was a huge mistake. I really messed that up. And I, 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 what I did was I just turned the chariot around and went somewhere else with the chariot. Um, having set up that charge the previous turn. So I spent, spent half the game with that chariot turning it around one way and the other, not being able to decide what to do. Uh, so the combat with the BSB and the chariots, and the chariots killing the BSB. However, um, what happened was, so the BSB died. Um, my chariot, however, won combat, did a couple of wounds to the, to the chaos chariot. So the warrior's chariot failed its break check, turned around to flee. So then I had to decide whether I was going to hold with my chariot or not. If I if my BSB was still alive, I definitely would have held. Um, but she wasn't, and I knew that on the um, just outside that picture, so um, there was his demon prince and his and his chaos lord. Not his demon prince, I'm sorry, his shagoth and his chaos lord. And if I just turned around, he could charge both of them into my front, at which point he's going to kill my chariot for sure. Um, so I figured I will try and get those points. I will overrun. So I didn't take a picture of the final position, so I've I've put a square on the board to show roughly where the the big chariot ended up. Um, at which point I've, I've presented my flank. That's that's less um, even even worse odds if he wants to charge me. But I at least got the points for his chaos chariot. And if he wants to charge them both in there, that's I'm I'm more happy with where they end up. Um, so these guys are so there's his shagoth and his chaos lord. They're over on the uh, to the left of the picture. So they de- in his turn he declares. A charge. He charges the Chaos Lord into my Greater Demon into the flank. He charges Shagoth into my uh, to the side of my BSB's chariot. Now at this point, I still have um, just about enough fortitude to keep going. I have I've lost my BSB, but I still have two units of demonettes uh, or a unit of demonettes and the the Seekers and my General. So I'm still not broken. Um, what happened next is the my keeper killed his BSB, so that was another point down. So he's still he's got his general and his sword and board warriors. So that and his and one more on the on the chaos knight. So he's now at four and I'm at four. Then my um, Fiends were able to break that Chaos Warrior unit, at which point they lost their banner. So I then won, I then broke him and, you know, uh, it didn't automatically end the game because the tournament uh, pack 
just gave you extra victory points for breaking your opponent first. And then you get a smaller amount of victory points if you break your opponent second. Um, so in my turn, I was able to um, six dice Cacophonic Choir. At this point, I've tried it. So this is the third time this game I've tried to do Cacophonic Choir. And it goes off, and it's irresistible. So I'm like, yes, brilliant. And I do a whole bunch of wounds to that Shagoth. He's left with one wound remaining. I do some damage to those hounds. I make a mess of the Chaos Knights. I even do a wound to his unkillable lord. I'm like, that's brilliant. And then, of course, I've got one wound remaining on the caster. I take a strength six hit from the miscast. It wounds me. I fail my save. Um, and... I may even have used my uh, special ward. I re-roll the tournament header. You're allowed one re-roll per game, basically. Um, and and my keeper died, so that made me sad. Um, dang, so she's dead. And the other thing is those fiends have, have moved up. I think they actually moved up before that spell happened. So, um, so my fiends had managed to get themselves around this way. Uh, there was one turn. Now, all of these units got affected by a cacophonic caress, so they were only able to move d6 inches. So in his turn, he wasn't able to get very far. So that, that was enough time for my fiends to get into position. They charged the Chaos Knights, and I'm thinking, I can get a lot of points for those Chaos Knights, uh, and then maybe I can hold out against that Chaos Lord. I also charged those Furies into the Shagath. The Shagath's only got one wound remaining. Um, so why not? I'll give it a go. <laughs> um, at the moment, I'm just losing 60 points if I if I lose that unit. Um, my fiends fought in close combat with the knights. They did nothing. They just bounced off their armor. And in his turn, his Chaos Lord went in and they just slaughtered them. Um, my Furies, on the other hand, got that last wound on the Shagoth, killed it dead. So that was rather nice. Uh, go, go Furies. Um, in my turn, now I should have done this one turn earlier. I completely forgot to move my, my metal caster. And I could have I could have six dice something at him, um, but I moved my metal caster up and then zapped those chaos knights, just shot them dead, and uh, so they died. And over on this side, so that Shagoth managed to kill my my cavalry, took a couple more wounds, charged into my infantry, which I turned around to try and deal with him. I really wanted to. Um, do those last two wounds with my infantry, but then that Demon Prince finally finished off that unit it's been munching on for for the entire game, um, turned around, charged me in the flank. This was bad. So he did a whole bunch of wounds. I was down to just a few models, and I took a break check, and I rolled double once. So they all came back to life. Unfortunately, it didn't do much good. Second round of combat, the Shagath's down to one wound. I just couldn't get the last wound. And between them, they were able to destroy that unit. So uh, that was game. He still had his Demon Prince. He still had Shagath with one wound. And he still had his Lord. Versus me, I didn't have very much. I had some Furies flying around. Um, so the final result was a 12-8 win for the Warriors. Um, that could have been an awful lot worse. I mean, I really did get everything smashed. It was one of those games I really thought I had it completely in hand turn one. I was very happy with how everything was going and everything went completely pear-shaped. Um, the keeper getting beat over the head um, by those knights, particularly when she wasn't able to do more than one wound to his BFB was, was embarrassing. Um, and the only thing that really saved my bacon with the the outcome of that game was that I broke him first. So that threw five, well, it threw eight hundred points my way, but then he immediately broke me, or rather, I broke myself by killing my greater demon. Um, so we got three hundred points for that. So I ended up with sort of five hundred point net benefit, and that was enough to push push it back to to just a slight loss. And at this point, I was actually uh, still on table one for the next game. Um, I had. Despite that loss, I'd got so many points in the first two rounds, uh, so much f more points than anyone else got, that I was able to keep my keep my space on table one. I didn't have to move my models. And then uh, uh, so um, next game I'm playing. So this was the end of Saturday. So the next game was uh, Sunday morning, and I knew I would be playing Ira with his Warriors of Chaos. I played Ira at uh, uh, Brawler Bash and... Uh, uh, I know he was he was itching for a rematch. Um, meanwhile, 
So on to our saga of, of Daniel San versus the Cobra Kai. So Daniel San uh, played against Jason. Jason's won Best General Awards. Uh, he's a very good player, very tight, very defensive player. Um, but again, Daniel San was able to pull out that victory. So Daniel San wins. Um, we then looked at the pairings for the next day. I knew I was playing Ira. And Daniel San was there playing, and this was this was just how it fell out, luck of the draw. Yet another Cobra Kai player, um, he would be playing Jerry Parsley in round four. So that's the end of this battle report. Hope you enjoyed it.